John, I, I always like John Lu's story because he evolved from being a, a, a UP professor to becoming a uh, to becoming a professional chef. So, uh, John Lu, can you tell us a bit more about your story, your success story, naman? Hindi, simple lang ako. <laughs> I just wanted to be rich, that's all. <laughs> no, but I'd, I have always been entrepreneurial, RJ. But uh, the lucky breaks in your life comes when you least expect them. Um, because, um, well, I started out not like everybody else because I started out not in Makati but in the bakery. In the bakery? Yes, so when I graduated from UP Diliman Business School in 1979, I uh, decided to do my own business. Underpaid myself and started a business that nobody wanted to go into, which is bakery. In those days, when you, when you picture, you visualize a baker, much like a mechanic, he looks dirty, he looks greasy, he looks tired, he looks haggard. I told myself I want to change the image of the baker because the baker in France is somebody you look up to. He's a very respectable person with long years of experience. He's somebody you go to when you want to marry off your daughter. <laughs> Not to the baker's son, but because you wanted a wedding cake. <laughs> RJ. <laughs> and you go to the baker also when you wanted <clears throat> a special bread for a special occasion. So in the wineries in France, when they open a new oak barrel to celebrate, they will say, what bread can I make to go with, to pair with my wine? My wine has scents of peach, of fruits. Uh, what bread can I make to go with that? And cheese. So they go to the cheese maker. For the cheese, they go to the baker for the bread. And they have a small fiesta in their barrio or in their farm to celebrate this. So the baker is somebody they know and they trust. In the Philippines, I remember at the time, I talked to those people who in bakery. They're usually people who retired, not retired, retired. People who lost their job. People who have nothing better to do. So I told myself, wow, cum laude graduate. 24 units of accounting, 24 units of marketing, 12 units of finance. What can I do with my degree? So I said, if I put that knowledge in an industry that is not that has not been fully developed i am sure i will be king someday and so the i persevered and i persevered however after one year i got bored and so my faculty invited me to teach they said wow scholar ng bayan panadero lang so <laughs> they invited me to teach so I taught in the, in the college. And so when I was teaching, I was unhappy with what I had because it was a small bakery. And the more I taught, the more I learned about business. And so one day, the, my biggest break in life came when my classmate, who is the third son of Mr. Tatang Si, called me up and said, my dad is putting up a mall. It's gonna look like an Ayala Mall in Quezon City. It's called the SM City Annex. And can you open a store with me? I told Herbert. At that time, I already have Honey Bread Bake Shop, the small bakery in Capitolio, Pasig. And so, I told Herbert, hindi yata pwedeng siopaw, tsaka hopya. Hindi yata pwede ito. Mamamatay yung negosyo kasi matindi ang kalaban. Mga Jollibee, mga Red Ribbon. So at that time, I was already teaching MBA school. So I asked my students, can you guys help? What brand should I do? And so they created with me, how about a, a name called The French Baker? And I said, can you ask around if people will be confused? Can you ask? And then I gave them that questionnaire.
Everybody came back and said, yes, sir, Sir John Luke, French Baker, that's the name. So I opened, and as they say, the rest is history. And my lucky breaks came later on, RJ, when Mr. C himself was mentoring me almost every week. He would go there and ask me, Anak, iho, magkana na benta? Sabi ko, Mr. C, uncle, uh, it improved na. Uh, eh, kasi eh, yan, uh, yeah. then he will tell me, kasi yung ano mo, oh yeah, yeah, okay, move the rock, uh, you put somewhere light here. Okay. And you know what's his favorite drink? Root beer. I will offer him anything he will refuse, but root beer he will always take. Anyway, trivia yon. If there's something written about him, it's favorite. Royal, Lady Royal. Uh, royal root beer yata yon. And so later on, I was very lucky. <laughs> later on, RJ was so lucky because every three to five months he would say, John Lu, may bagong mall na naman ako. Yung first three or four, okay lang. Nung dumating na sa ten, parang, wow, does this ever happen to you? You have to run as fast as you can to stay where you are. And then I said, again? And I was so happy. I said, one day when I reach ten stores, I will start to enjoy the fruits of my labor. But that one day never really came because from ten it became twenty, it became thirty, it became forty, it became fifty. Today we're hitting 60 already. I was, thank you. I was in Baguio a few days ago. They, were, they gave me a big space to create uh, a new store. Then later on, there's one thing nice about them. As a businessman, he told me, John Lu, don't forget, I understand you fully. Go to see my secretary if you need a line credit line that to me was the most beautiful piece of encouragement he told me anybody who is in business will know that just because you look good it doesn't mean you have a ton of money behind you in fact the more successful you are the more you need funding and I was just there with the coffee mentors in the other room downstairs we were talking about how to mentor coffee entrepreneurs and sorry I was late. And so he said, no, we have a bank. That's why I created a bank, is to help small business people like you. And you must consider it, because I want you, I believe in you, and I believe that you should not forego that opportunity. This conversation was 20 years ago. He saw in me that thing, and I'm so, so grateful. This story can happen to anyone. Why did he choose me? Because every time he goes to my shop, I'm always there. For some reason, I'm always there. And I'm also just there to give him the root beer. <laughs> I think Tatang Si can see the true character of a person. That's, that's the talent in him. He can, out of a group, he will select you. you. That's why there are very good people with him. So French Baker is quite good, not because I'm good, but because the market was looking for something that nobody could supply. And you were very unique in supplying what was not there available at the time. At, that at time. the time, yes. That's right.